welcome Yankees fans. New York Yankees set to cut losses, Isaiah Kiner Falifa trade. With top shortstops Anthony Volpe and Oswald Peraza nearing a major league call-up, the New York Yankees opted not to pursue a star shortstop as a free agent in the open market following the club's 2021 season. Instead, the club found a stopgap in the form of highly versatile Gold Glove Award winner Isaiah Kiner Falifa. On March 12, 2022, the Yankees acquired Kiner Falifa, Josh Donaldson, and Ben Wardbet in exchange for Gary Sanchez and Gio Urshela. The Twins picked up Kiner Falifa from the Texas Rangers in exchange for Mitch Garver a day early. Kiner Falifa's first season in New York did not go as planned. Having earned a reputation as a soft field defensive shortstop, Kiner Falifa struggled throughout the 2022 season both offensively and defensively, and was eliminated in the playoffs. On Sunday, the Yankees announced that Volpe had made the club's opening day roster, and Volpe had not. Five and all of baseball, according to MLB.com, expected to be the club's starting shortstop going into the season. The Yankees can stick with Kiner Falifa for depth of field, but the club has an insider gridlock Josh Donaldson, DJ Lumayu, Anthony Rizzo, and Glaber Torres, Peraza, Volpe, and Kiner Falifa, and will likely need to move at least one of them at some point. Peraza was drafted to AAA on Sunday, but given his performance in both AAA and the big leagues last season, I can't imagine he'll stay in AAA for long. In order to create space for Peraza at the major league level, the Yankees will need to move at least one infielder. Kiner Falifa seems like the logical choice. If the Yankees buy IKF, they will have to accept that they will really move it into its lower trading value. But sometimes you just need to cut your losses and move on. IKF can still contribute to another team. The Los Angeles Dodgers lost shortstop Gavin Lux for the season earlier this month. The Atlanta Braves never added another shortstop to replace Dansby Swanson after Swanson signed a seven-year contract with the Chicago Cubs. Perhaps Atlanta or Los Angeles would be a logical home for Kiner Falifa. It can be painful, but sometimes you just need to rip the band-aid off. In my opinion, Kiner Falifa can deliver something this year, but if there is a market opportunity involving Kiner Falifa, it would be a great solution. And in your opinion, Yankees fan? Leave it in the comments.